All right, Mr. D. Then when the people fruit. see this, they're going to be like, oh, no, he didn't do that, did he? You know, thinning fruit is probably the, it's probably done the least about any okay. task other than maybe spraying. Okay. Before I get very far into uh, thinning, I want to tell you when it's too late to thin. Okay. Uh, with uh, uh, peaches or plums or nectarines, as, if the uh, pit has hardened in the center of that fruit, then it's too late to thin. Right. The size of that fruit is predetermined. You can thin all of them off but one and it's still gonna be a small, scrawny peach. Wow. So I'm gonna show you how to check that be careful, don't cut yourself. Okay. <laughs> but you just take a knife or an X-Acto knife or just any kind of sharp knife and I go right to the center of that fruit. Oh wow. And I'm just gonna cut through here. Look at that. So this is the pit. It's uh -huh. watery, it's clear. I know it's healthy. I know the freeze da didn't damage that. And I also know it's not too late to thin. And this is one of the larger peaches on this tree, so I know I'm good. I, this is an ideal time to thin okay. this peach tree. Well, that's good to know. Good to know. Didn't know that before. All right. uh, thinning is very, very simple. Uh, have you ever heard of good old common horse sense? I, I have. I've heard well, my grandmother say that a that, couple of times. That's probably the main ingredient in properly thinning <laughs> fruit. I've always said, and, 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 and Dr. Arlie Powell down at Auburn burned it into my brain, that if a fruit tree sets probably 90% more fruit than it needs to. Okay. So properly pruning is gonna take some of that off and then thinning is gonna take the rest of them off. Okay. This tree has already been partially thinned by Mother Nature. We have some dead fruit that right there okay the little bitty yeah. ones they're not new ones they're dead ones that just haven't fallen off right. so mother nature took those off so i'm not going to leave one of those thinking it's going to be a good fruit now let's go to this limb right here this is a really really good example in this six inch span we have one two three four five six seven peaches mm. now this is where the horse sense the good common <laughs> horse sense Picture in your mind how big you want a peach to be uh -huh. when you put, when you bite into it. I'm with you. Two or three inches? Uh -huh. <laughs> how many would yeah. fit within that six inch space? Just a couple. Just a couple, right. So yeah. I'm going to... Oh boy. Take this one off. I'll take this one off. Oh, they're cringing, take Mr. Take this B. one off. Uh -huh. Now, 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 four to six inches? This gives this one room right. to, to grow a couple a couple oh, of boy. inches on each side. I'm taking those off. Okay, this limb now has three fruit on there. With no space. And you can imagine yeah. how big those fruit are gonna uh -huh. be. And if you left them like they were, that would just been like a grape cluster. Larger than grapes, yeah. but not much larger than grapes. And that's about what you want. You want between four and six inches between healthy fruit to properly thin them. Four to six. Four to six inches. Right. You want to get another one up yeah, here? let's get another one. You see a good one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me pull this, this one around here a little bit. Okay, I've got two right here side by side. I'm going to kind of favor the one that's got more sunlight. So, okay, now we've got, there's one here we don't need. So we've got probably four inches here. I'm gonna leave that. Okay, we've got another one up here. So actually, I'm gonna take this one off, leaving the one on the upper side. So I have one here, one there, one here, and a cluster yeah, right here. Two so right I'm gonna take, yeah. I'm gonna take, leave, I'm basically gonna leave one. Uh, and I think I'm gonna leave the one on the upper side. And there's one I didn't see, I'm taking that off. Wow. So here we have one here, one here and one here. That's enough room. I've got a yeah. dead one. The dead ones you don't have to worry about taking off because they're going to fall off anyway. Okay. Eventually. Mm -hmm. let's, look, let's look at this one underneath it. Okay. All right. This is one little stem. Mm -hmm. It's got four peaches on it. Mm -hmm. If you had four big peaches on there, do you think that stem would hang on there? <laughs> it would not. Thunderstorm? I mean, you imagine four peaches that yeah. big. So I'm gonna leave, that stem is big enough to hold one peach. Okay. So I'm one. gonna leave one peach on wow. there. 
And I'm going to leave it kind of back close to the base because it's stronger there. Ah, that makes sense. So that you can have a big peach there instead of four little bitty scrawny ones. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll take the small mm -hmm. one off here. Well. Just go to all of them and do kind of the same thing. And you move pretty fast. You don't have to have any special tools. Just you don't even off. have to have your gloves on. <laughs> you know, see, so we got two on there. This is pretty good right here. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, that's one we just thinned, though. That's why it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, that's right. And that's got, now right here, we've got kind of a cluster. So I'm going to take these two off, leave one on that little bitty stem. Mm -hmm. And this was that's three right there. This one just came off. Yeah, it was a dead one. Yeah, that a dead one. one anyway. So I'm going to leave one on that little stem. These dead ones are, they're falling anyway. Yeah, so Mother falling. Nature scared us to death. We thought she'd gotten all of them. I yeah. think we got, what, 18 degrees? While we had small fruit, that's it's not supposed yeah. to survive. Yeah. But it didn't stay that cold that long. Yeah. And that's our only saving grace yeah, here. I think it's what, one, one, one day, one night? Just one night. Just one, one night. night. Think you got it? I think we you got wanna, it. You want to thin one for me? Yeah, we can do that. Let you see if you see if you were paying attention. I was paying attention. Yeah. Oh, we get get this one. I'm gonna take this one off here. Okay. Take that one off there. See that one's right at the top. Mm -hmm. Get good sunlight. Okay. Take that one off there. There you are. There you have it. Good. All right. I'm impressed. You All right. Pay attention. Oh, I listen to you, Mr. D. You know that. <laughs> well, look, we appreciate the demonstration, Mr. D. As always. Most welcome. All right. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.